So I think Myanmar coffee has really come up the uh, ladder, it has come up the quality ladder. Of course, you may probably turn around and say the quantities are small and so you can handle it. Yes, I do agree the quantities are small. Uh, as we witnessed, each farmer, the woman, you know, I, I, as I see in every part of the world, it's a woman who brings in all the coffee she has picked the whole day. Every cherry was carefully picked. She brings in a basket of cherries, delivers it to the community. And then the entire community sits around the cherries removing the defects. You know, there are very few defects, but even then the defects are removed. They all sit in a cluster around a mat. There's a community feeling. There's a feeling of belonging. And the coffee is very gently uh, defect removed. And then it gets on to the drying table. So I think when I look at Myanmar coffee, it's small, but it's community, it's family. And I think it's a community family coffee that, that I witnessed. You know, when I started my career in coffee, there were no women and it was a hard struggle. But what I understood over a period of time is the fact that, you know, being a woman in coffee, I think your attention to detail is very, very high. And you're all the time wanting to do better. And I think that comes because of the competitive spirit or the nature of coffee. So being a woman, I think, gives you that strength, that inner strength to excel, the inner strength to pay attention to details, the inner strength to concentrate, and the inner strength to learn as much as you can, like a sponge. And I think being a Q grader or being a cupper and being a woman or being a producer, woman producer, I think uh, gives you a little bit of an edge, maybe in terms of your uh, attention to detail and making sure that your coffee plants are well looked after. You know, it's like your own child. I mean, I think all of us have children at home and if you look at any home, you'll find that the woman is the actual core of the home you know, managing every bit of the uh, of the home scenario, not only the home, I think the entire life scenario. Um, I would encourage more women to be in this uh, in the coffee area, because I think that there's a little connectivity between, you know, the heart, the hand, and the mind. I always believe that one needs to have the courage of the mind, the strength of the hands, and the passion of the heart. And I think that's what we women do have.